I've got some half inch braid bar that I'm going to use to make the lead scroll over. I was going to use silver steel, but the silver steel I thought was half inch is only 12 mil. First thing will be to square the end up and centre drill it. Nice and true. I'm just going to give it a light pulse before I start. Just check the diamond pack, I'm sure it's half inch. Enough that one now, which is certainly near enough. And the threaded part needs to be 140 mil long. I made a suit longer because that knows the machine the end. Cut the left hand fed we work from this end going that way with the lathe running forwards without we have to run it with a tool in upside down at the back with the lathe running forwards but luckily this lathe reverses so it's, it's not too bad at all to do so I need a piece of machine out here just somewhere for the screw cutting to start This is the tip I'm going to use to cut the thread. It's a proper tip for cutting the 10 TPI at the thread. 
I was fortunate enough to be able to borrow a tip in the past I've always had to grind out a high speed steel. The way the tip's designed, you don't go in at, a, at half a thread angle, which will be half 29 degrees, you just go straight in. Once the thread reaches full depth, the track face actually touches and then that's the thread going full depth. I know it's on centre height, but I need to make sure it's absolutely square to the job. All I do is loosen off the, the tool post nut so you can pivot it like that, bring it in until it's touching all the way down the tool, all the way down the tip like that. That's it, absolutely bang on in the right position. I cut the transition, he has in the headstock, so I can cut the imperial thread. The leaves don't turn, everything's ready to go. I've got the tool well away from the job, and I'm just going to engage the field screw to see which way the carriage is going, and it's going the wrong way. We need to go that way. So I reverse the direction of the leaf screw, which is easy to do on this machine. So we'll try it again, make sure that's going away from the headstock, that's going to put the left hand through. I'm just going to touch the tool off very lightly. Just touch in there. And zero the cross slide. Put a light cut on. Some oil. Once I engage this lead screw, I'll keep it in here because it is an imperial thread. Right. Right, once you get to the end of the first cut, you zero the cross slide, wind it out one turn, then reverse the lathe. Back to the beginning. It's in to zero. Then a little bit of cut. Set the other way forwards again. I'm just going to check the thread pick before I go any further. Right, that's absolutely spot on. Ten threads of the inch. Taking a couple of finishing cuts, very light cuts, I'll give it a try and see what sort of fit we've got. And it's actually a good fit. I'm going to give it a polish with some scotch, scotch bright. I think basically we're finished. Still cutting.
Right, unfortunately the cord died on the camera and I'll miss that little bit of machining. But that's it running nice and true now and that's down the diameter. <coughs> that's basically all the machining done now because the rest you can, you can do yourself. Some threads to go in there and a hole to go through there. But basically that's the, the screw complete. Nice fit in there, it's not too tight but it certainly isn't piss wobbly. Just what you need. Next thing I'll do the solar leather nut onto the top of the old the old nut supplied. I've used the old lead screw to line up the bush with the original nut because I'm going to use the bottom half of the original nut. If I scrape around there, that's going to show me where the nut's got to fit down to. This part here has actually, by the look of it, been handmade. I'd be shame it's going underneath there to line it up so the height isn't that critical, but I want to get it as near as I can. Looks very good. Yeah, lies in there quite nicely. A little bit of work with the file and that will solder in there. And it should do the job splendidly for him. Once again, it's just to say a massive thanks for watching. Especially for all the well wishes that are coming in towards me, wife and me dad. Anyway, thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you like what you see, click the subscribe button. It does matter. Thanks for watching.